Hello my most amazing artists, Mrs. Lubis here, and today we're going to be making some art together. And the art that we're going to be making is inspired by a story called A Pig Parade is a Terrible Idea. And the story was written by Michael Ian Black, and it was illustrated by Kevin Hawks. Now this story is a persuasive story, which means that the author is trying to persuade us or convince us that what he thinks, his opinion, is absolutely the only way to think, and it is absolutely correct. So let's see how he does in persuading us. In a pig parade is a terrible idea. <laughs> Like most children, you have probably thought to yourself at one time or another, I bet a pig parade would be a lot of fun. And yes, a pig parade certainly sounds like fun. It's even fun to say. Go ahead. Say pig parade a couple of times. Pig parade, pig parade, pig parade. <laughs> fun, right? After all, what could be more fun than gathering a few hundred pigs together for a grand parade and then watching them proudly march together in perfect formation down the finest boulevard of your hometown? The only problem is a pig parade is a terrible idea. For one thing, pigs hate to march. They prefer to snuffle which is kind of like walking with your nose. Snuffling is fine when trying to find leftover apple skins and acorns around the barnyard, but snuffling is simply an inappropriate way to conduct yourself along a parade route. That's just one reason why a pig parade is a terrible idea. Also, pigs absolutely refuse to wear majorette uniforms. Even if you are able to find enough majorette uniforms for all of your pigs, which is a very difficult job in and of itself, just try getting those hundreds of pigs to put them on. They will not do it. Perhaps they consider majorette uniforms unflattering. <laughs> Nonsense. Everybody looks sharp in a majorette uniform, even pigs, especially pigs. But when you try explaining that to them, they just look at you as if you are speaking a language they do not understand. Again, a pig parade is a terrible idea. <laughs> You cannot have a parade without floats, right? Well, forget it. Pigs don't care about floats. Pigs don't care about all the time and energy you spend creating a Three Little Pigs float or a Wilbur, the pig from Charlotte's Web float. In fact, the only floats pigs care about are root beer floats, which they love. Then there is the matter of music. Pigs have horrible taste in music. If you give a group of pigs marching band instruments to play, do you think they will play good spirited marching band music? No, they will not. They will play sad, sad country music ballads with titles like my tears are wet cause my mud's gone dry and I just want to plop into this bucket of slop. That kind of music is fine for slow dancing at hoedowns, but it is not appropriate for a parade. Face it, a pig parade is a terrible idea. Whew. Finally, there are the giant balloons to consider knows that giant balloons are the best part of a parade. Well, who do you think is going to hold all those balloons to keep them from flying away? The pigs, right? <laughs> Wrong. Even if pigs wanted to hold the balloons instead of finding filthy puddles in the street to lie in, they couldn't do it. Because while pig hooves are good for digging up wild mushrooms, when it comes to holding giant parade balloons, 
they are simply not up to the job. And what happens when balloons go unattended? They bump into buildings or simply drift off into outer space, which would be fine for Martians, but awful for those of us trying to enjoy a pig parade here on Earth. So, when you consider the constant snuffling, the refusal to wear majorette costumes, the disinterest in pig-themed literary floats, pig's preference for weepy country ballads, and their utter lack of discipline regarding proper balloon handling, it should be absolutely, completely, and totally clear that a pig parade is a terrible idea. A panda bear parade, on the other hand, would be fantastic. The end! I hope you enjoyed A Pig Parade is a Terrible Idea, because I think this story is hysterical. This author totally convinced me that a pig parade would be a terrible idea. So he did his job. Now, while I was reading this story, it had me thinking, whoa, what would a pig parade really look like? I was imagining the story in my head and I thought, you know what? I'm going to draw my own rendition of a pig parade. And so I created this little cartoon with all these funny little pigs at the parade with some fireworks and some balloons and some flags. And I thought it came out pretty funny. And so I'm going to teach you how to draw your own pig so that you can create your own pig parade. Just how it looks inside your brain. Here we go. All right, friends, let's get started. So today to start our drawing, you're not going to need many materials. You'll need a piece of paper and you'll need something to draw with. I'm going to be using a marker, but you could use a pencil or a pen or crayons or markers, whatever you'd like. We're going to start by making the pig's eyes. So you're going to draw two circles towards the middle of your paper. And you're going to draw a little circle up in the top corner. And you're going to fill in what's left. Great job. Next, we're going to do the nose. You're going to draw an oval shape underneath the eyes. Nice and big. You're going to draw the little nostrils. You're going to color in two black circles towards the edges of your oval. Now, the next part is a little bit tricky. So you're going to bring your marker or your pencil over to the left side of your pig's nose. And you're going to start by touching the line where the nose is, and you're going to go up. And then you're going to draw kind of an overly round little body for our pig, and it's going to attach back at the bottom of the nose here. Next, we're going to draw some little ears for our pig. Now, above your right eye over here, but not touching it, you're going to draw a little curved line that comes up and then you're going to bring it back down towards the eye. That's one little ear. And the other ear is actually going to go on the outside here. So you're going to start on the curve of his body over here and you're going to come up and you're going to come down just like the other, just like the other side until it touches back on his body here. Now, we're going to make some cute little round feet. I'm going to do one little U shape there and another one next to it. And then we're going to do the back feet here. One little U shape and two little U shapes. And we couldn't have a cute little pig without its squiggly little tail. So the tail is going to start on his body and it's going to come up. And it's going to do one little curly cue there, and then it comes out on the edge over here. And now we have our pig. And the last thing, of course, that you're going to do is you're going to choose what color you want your pig to be. I chose to keep mine pretty traditional, and I made him um, pink. 
So we're gonna color inside the lines, keeping our crayons moving in the same direction. Remember we talk about in the art room how when we're coloring larger spaces, we use which? We use a crayon or a marker. Ah, that's right, we use a crayon. When we're using a, something to color in large spaces or large areas, we use a crayon. We know that we use a marker when we're doing designs, lines, or small spaces. And you can color that little guy in all the way to the edge. And just like in my pig parade scene, Maybe you want to create lots and lots of pigs. I didn't just do one. Today you want to just practice. Maybe you want to do just one pig. Maybe put a little bow tie on them. Maybe put a little hat on them or whatever you'd like. Totally up to you. So there's our pig. Now take your pigs, draw a bunch of them, put some funny hats on them, make some balloons, make some decorations going around like it's a, it's a real celebration. Have so much fun. Post it on um, on YouTube, I'm sorry, not on YouTube, on Facebook or on Class Dojo because I would love to see your pig parade pictures. I love you. I miss you. Have a fun day. Bye.